Good evening. Welcome to Everything Explained with Farrah Greenbaum. In tonight's segment, we will be talking about dusting tchotchkes. Before we go into in-depth coverage on the subject, we have a brief visual glossary. So first we're going to look at Exhibit A, which is dust. Oh, where's all the dust? Well, this is disappointing. All right, let's go at this from a different angle. Oh, see? Ah, here we go. Okay. Well, and here we have Exhibit B, tchotchke. So let's go visit our neighbor John and his brother Jake and see what they have to say about dusting tchotchkes. Mm, that's good. Mm. So I love Pepsi. when I say dusting tchotchkes, what does that make you think of? My brother Jake. Oh really? And what yeah. is that? Hi. Uh, he's got a fetish for... Um, I don't have a fetish. No, I do not have a fetish. <laughs> it is a service. Jake believes that he was put on this earth to dust the tchotchkes of elderly ladies. Tchotchkes are special. Mm -hmm. I prefer the dusting. Not many will do that. No, I... I did a specialized skill. There's a gentle touch that needs to be utilized. If the tchotchke needs to be cleansed and groomed, then you have nothing but to satisfy that need. It's, it's the need to pleasure the environment. It's all nonsense. I don't believe in it. I really don't. What do don't. you mean? Like I, the tooth fairy? Would you like to learn? Here, here's the problem. The only dustbuster does a service. It does do a service. Does do a service. But can I and does the dustbuster ever get any thanks? No, the dustbuster <coughs> is thrown to the side. It's true. You and, and does the dustbuster ever complain? No, it waits patiently until it is needed. I'm not buying out. it. I'm not. I still am not buying it. See, I can you read <laughs> in your face that what I said is true. This whole thing, this whole conversation, the last ten minutes before I launched into this attack. <laughs> was a total lie. Why are you so cynical, John? Because <clears throat> it comes down to tchotchkes. No one cleans another's tchotchke without having some sort of benefit for cleaning that tchotchke. I feel sorry for you. I know you feel bad for me. No one's ever cleaned my tchotchkes. With that kind of attitude. I've always had to clean my own tchotchkes. I hope you're okay with that. I'm not. Very sad. This <laughs> is sad. Why do tchotchkes att attract dust in the first place? They're delightful. I like, look at that big vacuum. See all that dust? Yeah, there's a lot of dust on there. Wait, what is that? See, that's the thing you said. You threw away all your tchotchkes because you were tired of dusting them and no one would dust them for you. Yeah, no one and dusted now you my tchotchkes. You have a hugely dusty vacuum cleaner. So your vacuum cleaner is your trash can? Uh, so it's actually worse than it was before. You could have had a pretty trash can. Do you think that dust would have gone to the trash can and wouldn't have settled oh, on Absolutely. <laughs> dust always goes to the trash cans first. Dust, and dust. So they have more personality. <laughs> a vacuum cleaner is just like, ugh. You if, you that, like, 90, if you got one tchotchke, if you got one tchotchke, ninety of the people watching YouTube don't know what a tchotchke is. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. have we made your life happier? Yeah. Good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like just lost about fifty potential suitors with this demonstration. That's fine. Whatever. I have many other admirable qualities. I wouldn't dust your tchotchke. It's some kind of protozoan creature. I think I'll leave it there just to see what life form may develop. There's a little tiny one. Oh, come on, man. Can't you see I'm making something, an artistic statement here? No, no they're, they're not. not. No, 